Lakers legends and longtime friends, Kobe Bryant and Magic Johnson, were bonded by purple and gold. You were his idol. I mean, that's, uh, that's something. Well, right. we idolized each other. Overnight, Magic remembering Kobe's passion for the game. Every night you came to Staples Center, you knew you were going to see something special. We're here to celebrate the greatest who's ever wore the purple and gold. A young Kobe inspired by magic on the court. Did you ever dream that you would do uh, the type of things that you're doing now in the NBA? I, I dreamt it. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up watching you, watching Bird, watching mm -hmm. Michael, and I just always believed that winning multiple championships was part of, you know, being a great player. Right. Like, that's what you had to do. It was Magic who shocked the world in 1991 when he announced he was HIV positive and leaving the NBA. Shortly after the news of Bryant's death, Magic in disbelief. I was supposed to pass away. He was supposed to be talking about me, not me, but talking about him. It's, it's a sad day, man. Another Lakers legend, Shaquille O'Neal, describing the devastating moment he learned his friend and teammate was gone. I haven't felt the pain that sharp in a while. I now know what it feels like to lose a brother. Their legendary partnership leading the Lakers to three straight NBA championships over eight seasons. The competitive drive remaining even after their careers came to an end. You remember when your, your jersey retirement? You know, I was just you know, um, happy for you, you know. But I couldn't help but say, you know, this night has made a lot sweeter because I know you have four and I have five. <laughs> <laughs> Shaq, now mourning what might have been. We're not going to be able to say, hi, I got five, you got four. Those are the things that you, you can't get back. It's the only thing I wish I could just say something to him again. Another former Lakers great, Jerry West, was the team's general manager on the night of the 1996 NBA draft, orchestrating that trade for Kobe that would change NBA history and the direction of the franchise. I think the thing that for all of us who had time to spend with him when he was so young, um, that's what makes it so hard for me. Kobe Bryant's brilliance on the court, inspiring a generation of NBA superstars. Like Dwayne Wade, remembering what it was like to play against his idol. Now, coming to terms with his loss. It's okay to cry. It's okay to show emotion. It's okay to have laughter. It's okay to talk about, to get around people and talk about the moments that you shared with Kobe Bryant.